Hey, welcome back to the Deep Learning with Kira series. In this video, we are going to improve our neural network model to give us a much better accuracy in guessing the object in the C410 dataset. So let's get started. First, we will activate our virtual environment in which we have installed the libraries. Now we'll import some of those libraries. NumPy for array manipulations, matplotlib to plot images and graphs, and different functions of the Keras library. We also need to import the helper functions. Okay, here we will get all the constants, the class names, the number of classes, the image size, which is 32, number of channels, which is 3, number of epochs, which will be 350 for this notebook, and the learning rate, which is set to 10 to the power of minus 4. Now let's fetch and decode our training and testing data and print the size of the data set. Okay, so now that we have loaded the data set and the constants, let's start with the machine learning part. In this video, we will be working with a pure CNN model. You can read more about this model in the paper that I have linked here. In a pure CNN model, we do not have pooling or dense layers. Instead, we use only convoluted layers to get the job done. Now let's build the model. As you can see, the total number of trainable parameters is 1.3 million. Now let's create the model checkpoint and compile the model. You can check out the previous video in the series to understand what each function does and what every parameter does. Now let's fit the model onto the data. This time we'll run the training for 350 epochs. Once that is done, we will evaluate our model. And as you can see, the accuracy comes out to be 84.96, which is about 6% better than the model given in the Kira's example. Now let's see the model accuracy and loss parts. Here we can see that the model is probably starting to overfit the data. Now we can improve this accuracy further by bringing image augmentation to the picture. Augmenting the images gives us access to potentially unlimited number of images. Let's see how we can do that. Image data generator is a function in Kira's library which performs image augmentations for us. We can provide which augmentations we need and it will provide us with the augmented images. Image augmentation happens after every epoch, so the model never sees the same image twice. Here we will randomly rotate our image in the range of 0 to 45 degrees and randomly shift our images 20% in any of the directions and randomly flip our images horizontally. You can play around with other parameters to get an even bigger data set and potentially improve the accuracy. But remember, this increases the model training time. Now let's build a model again. Create the checkpoint. Configure the model. Now, to fit this model to the augmented data, we need a different function called fit generator. We pass the augmented dataset by using flow function in the image data generator and pass it the images and the labels. We provide the batch size to be 32. Next, we need to provide the number of samples per epoch, which will be the number of training images divided by the batch size. Then the number of epochs and the validation data, the callbacks and the verbosity. Now, after this command is done running, we evaluate the model and see that the accuracy is increased to about 88%, which is a 3% increase from the normal model or the model without the image augmentations. It doesn't look like the model overfits the data looking at the loss graph, so we can run this for an even larger number of epochs to get better accuracy. Now let's plot some of the misclassified images and we can see that most of the misclassified images here are ambiguous. 
like this picture of an automobile or a truck as predicted by the neural net. So that's about it for this series. If you have any recommendations or questions, please comment them below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below.